felt any different out there this week? Nope, just uh, going about my business, the same that I always do, just trying to be better every day. Was it tough watching the game from the sidelines the first three quarters? Yeah, it was tough. I mean, as a competitor, you know, I wanted to be out there and, you know, be out there with my team and, and play, but that wasn't the case. So I was, you know, competing on the sideline, you know, trying to get them going. And then when I came in, I just do as good as I could. Did you see something on the sidelines that helped you when you came in? Uh, just kind of what they were doing. I mean, there was nothing we didn't talk about after, you know, every, you know, series or whatnot. But uh, I was just kind of seeing maybe tendencies for certain guys and whatnot. Neil said it is different, though, trying to lead as a backup versus leading when you know you're the guy, you know you're the guy that's going to run out there. Is, it, is there more of a comfort level just taking charge and saying, hey, guys, follow me when you know you are that guy? Um, I don't know, because I think I've been doing that the whole time, trying to get these guys, you know, to rally up and to try and win games and, you know, put good product on the field uh, every week and just get better every week. So, I don't know, I don't think that's really changed for me, really. I think every day I go out there, I try to do the same thing and lead the same way. When did they tell you that they were going to be Uh, when was it, um, Monday night? I got, uh, Coach Brown called me and just kind of let me know, even though, I guess Twitter let me know. <laughs> you feel like there's any pressure to perform right from the get-go? Um, I think I just feel pressure kind of every game. To be honest with you, I feel the same amount of pressure every time I go out. There. It doesn't really matter who I'm playing, uh, who we're playing, excuse me, and just go out there and compete. It's fun because you know they bring a lot of talent to the team, and they uh, they're very good, and they're they're gonna they're gonna get a lot better, and we're gonna be a lot better in coming years. But we got to get better right now, every day, every practice, every week, and uh, I think we're gonna do that. Beyond the loss, what made you decide to come out after the game and say, "I have to be a leader right now"? Um, just because you know, coaches are always challenging people, and uh, I don't know. I feel like they spoke to me, and I feel like the team sees me as a leader. But I, I think I have to, you know, take control of the team more often, maybe. And other guys lead too. I'm not, you know, I'm not the only one. I mean, I think everybody on the offense has to kind of, you know, lead themselves so we can all lead each other in a way. Uh, yeah, we're not as good as we thought we were, and uh, we got to get better. That's for sure. Speaking you, of some of those young guys, uh, Tim and specifically, did you talk to him at all, or give him a little pep talk after that big play he had, and then ended up coughing it up? Yeah, I mean, I just told you know, obviously he knew he had to hang on to the ball, and that was that. But I told Tim, you know, he's got a tremendous amount of upside, and he's got a tremendous amount of talent. We see it every day out here in practice. You guys saw it on that one run, but um, he, he's gonna he's gonna be really good here. What do you Thanks. think you did best in the game Saturday? Um, I threw the ball pretty well, but other than that, I didn't do too much really that good. Your coaches talked about sort of almost the psychological damage of the last couple of seasons where it's gone pretty rough and then you come out and lose that opener and you guys need to believe they can win and, and learn how again. How much do you guys need to experience some success on Saturday? To just oh. go out and have guys get in the end zone and, yeah. and, and feel good about, mm -hmm. about how they can play? Yeah, I mean, I know DeMarco, that was his first career touchdown. And, you know, I know he, even though we lost and obviously he was disappointed, I know he just felt good getting in the end zone. And then I talked to Daryl and, you know, he want, everybody wants to get in the end zone and I feel like you know, the harder we work and the more success we have in practice, you know, the more, you know, fun these guys are going to have out there. You know, scoring touchdowns, winning games, competing. That's what we got to do. Folks, we need to move on to our, is it Jen? Yeah. Last when one. You, when you see that Miami gave up five touchdowns through the air last week, does that, does that give you a little boost thinking that this could be a fun game? Uh, well, Coach told me that they were the leading pass team in the country. So um, following up that performance, you know, it might be a little hard and, you know, obviously, Miami, Ohio's got a chip on their shoulder, just like we have a chip on ours. So I think we're just going to go out there. And really this week, like Coach Brown's been talking about, I think it's all about us getting better. You know, not really about what they're doing, but what we got to do. Okay, folks, thank you.